What's up everybody, welcome to Finance with Fussball. My name is Keith and in today's video we're going to head into the CEX website and look at a bunch of PlayStation games and I'm going to be letting you in on some secrets about certain games and how much money you can get for them at trading because when I saw this for myself I was completely blown away. Of course over time these trading prices will change and you get more money for trading with voucher which is what we're going to be pricing up things rather than getting the cash and there's some price differences with games with and without manuals but will be bashing off these in the best condition available, usually in mint. In this video, we'll be looking at games from the PlayStation 1. I'm gonna have a look at the top seven games which you can trade in for the most money along with some honorable mentions, so let's begin. For some reason, the PS1 section on the CX website doesn't appear when you're searching for some reason, but if you Google it, then you can get the link from that and be taken to that section of the shop. I also noticed when I was generating content for the video that the PS1 section is now under retro gaming on the CX website, so if you're struggling to find it still, that's the way to do. In at number seven, we have Tombi. If you're in a non-EU country, then the game will be called Tomba instead. This is a 1997 platform adventure game which was developed by Whoopi Camp and was published by Sony Computer Entertainment for the PS1. The game centers around a feral child as he attempts to recover his grandfather's bracelet from an evil race of pigs. It's a 2D side scrolling game which keeps the game aimed towards its straightforward gameplay and it also received positive praise by critics. So if you have this game in your collection and head to CEX to trade this in, you can expect to get up to £243 for trading with the game being in mint condition. On eBay you can get a game with a manual for about £215 so you could potentially have a £30 markup if you find a mint condition one and trade that one in. Coming in at number 6 we have Mega Man Legends. So this is an action adventure shooter game which was released by Capcom and it was the first game in the Mega Man Legends sub-series of Mega Man and it was the second major 3D polygonal Mega Man title re released in the franchise. It was released in 1997 in Japan and then 1998 in North America which was similar to number 7 in the list Tombi. Mega Man Legends stars a spiritual incarnation of Mega Man who is called Mega Man Volnut and he is the game's playable character. He is a digger, which is a person in charge of investigating ruins from a folded earth and during his journey with the friends, their ship crashes on an island where Mega Man confronts pirates attacking to obtain its hidden treasure and that's where the, the action adventure starts in the game. If you have one like this lying around at home, you can take this to CEX and trade it in for £255 if it's in mint condition. Again, on eBay you can pick these games up for between £200 and £220 so you could potentially have a £50 profit if buying and selling and you get a mint condition one to buy. That's two down and we're on to number five which is Jojo's Bizarre Adventures. Personally I had not heard of this game before before I shot this video so please bear with me. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure game is a fighting video game developed by Capcom and it's based on the manga series of the same title. The game was actually developed by the same team who was responsible for the Street Fighter 3 series and the game was originally an arcade release from back in 1998 and in 1999 they ported the game for the PS1 and Dreamcast and it was again re-released in 2012 for the PS3 and Xbox 360 in high definition. The game combines Capcom's anime inspired graphics with the colourful characters from the manga series and as a result it's got a fantastic styled and detailed visual style. Now if you have this game in your collection then you're in luck. If you want to trade it in then you can get a total of £258 from this. Um, I did a search on eBay for some options and there wasn't much on there apart from the some Japanese versions of the game but they were only about £30 to buy on there so to get that much from CEX you're going to need a PAL version or one that's based in the UK. Getting into number four now and this is The Misadventures of Tron Bon. This is another game I'd never heard of until now and it's another Capcom game and it's an action adventure game released in Japan in 1999 and North America and Europe in 2000. This game is part of the Mega Man Legends series too and it's a prequel and spin-off from the first Legends game. The main Mega Man games usually follow the heroic protagonists of the Mega Man Legends series but this game actually follows the series anti-hero Ton Bon who is the sister of the criminal Bon family of air pirates. So you'll be able to get a nice £270 trade in at CEX when you trade this game in if you got it in your collection or you could head over to eBay and sell it on there because the ranges from the items on there range from £350 right up to £700 for sold items of this game so you can make slightly more money that way. We're down to the last three now and in at number three we have Clock Tower. So this game is a survival horror point and click adventure game which was developed by a company called Human Entertainment and it was released for the PlayStation in 1996. The story for the game takes place in Norway 
and follows a variety of characters as they attempt to survive the return of the Scissor Man. And doing so, they uncover the mystery of a seemingly immortal state. The scenarios and endings in the game vary widely based upon each player's actions in the game itself. This was one of the first games developed by Human Entertainment to utilise the 3D graphics engine and was done in a way to challenge Resident Evil which was announced at the time when this game was being developed. This is another game that if you have in your collection then you can take this to CEX and trade it in for £345 which isn't a bad price at all for a game. We're getting close to the top spot but in at number 2 we have Castlevania Symphony of the Night. This is a 1997 action role playing game which was developed and published by Konami for the PS1 and Sega Saturn and was the sequel to Castlevania Rondo of Blood which was taking place four years later. This game features Dracula's son as a protagonist rising from his slumber to explore Dracula's castle which had resurfaced. The game made a break from the previous entries in the series and reintroduced the exploration, non-linear level design and role playing elements first experiment first experimented with in Castlevania 2 when the game was released. This game made a break from the previous entries in the series and reintroduced the exploration, non-linear level design and role playing elements first experimented with in Castlevania 2. When the game was released, the game sold very poorly, however due to word of mouth, it gradually gained sales and became a sleeper hit and a cult following and the critics have said that it's one of the best video games of all time. With that being said, if you want to give up the best video game of all time and trade it in CEX, then you can look at getting £427 or £476 if you have the limited edition art book version. You can pick these up between £300 and £800 on eBay, so you could make a bit extra money selling it on there too rather than trading it in at CEX. Before we get to number one, let's talk about some honourable mentions. We have Hercules with a K, which is a game published by Phoenix Games and is a rare game that you can trade in for £142 at CEX. There's also Chocobo Racing, which is a spin-off from the Final Fantasy series, released in 1989 and if you have this, CEX are currently offering £191 for this game. And lastly, we have Ghost in the Shell, which is a third-person shooter and can be traded in for £138. Or, if you have a brand new and sealed one, then you can undercut the current listing for £1,000 on eBay. It's mental that this is up for sale for £1,000 on eBay, brand new and sealed. But if you thought £1,000 was crazy for a game, check out number one. Number one is Cindy's Fashion World. This is an interesting game to have at number one, but hear me out. This was another release from Phoenix and only had a small limited number of games released which makes it very rare for someone to have a full PS1 collection they need this game. The game was reportedly buggy and didn't run very well on the console as well. Cindy's Fashion World is a single player game aimed at young girls and which consists of a series of simple activities. After a short animated introduction, the game displays its main menu from which the game's three groups of activities can be accessed. If you're lucky enough to have this in your collection, then you can trade this in at CEX for a massive £1,035. Or if you're feeling even lucky, you can head over to eBay and underprice the current listing on there for £1,900 for the game. How mental is that? Nearly two grand for a PS1 game. If you enjoyed this video, then please give the channel a subscribe as it'll help the channel grow massively. And then if you enjoyed this style of video too, let me know in the comments and we'll see if we'll get more done. Feel free to check out the other videos in the series too. Until next time, see ya.